two shots of vodka. <laughs> Don't know where I fell at it. Get a little drink, right? Here, do you, bud? <laughs> so clearly, alcohol is a guilty pleasure that should be indulged in responsibly. Another guilty pleasure, which I don't feel too guilty about, is pasta. So what better way to truly treat yourself than by putting the two together? This is exactly the idea that a man by the name of James Doty had when he created penne alla vodka. Penne alla vodka is an Italian dish which is made of penne-shaped pasta and alcohol, vodka to be exact. It also has tomatoes, heavy cream, and anything else you would like to add to it. It's relatively easy to make with the proper instructions. According to Fortune, according to an article written on Fortune by Chris Morris on January 17, 2019, almost 8 billion gallons of alcohol was drank last year in the United States. In another 2018 article by Food Business News, Americans consume 2.7 million tons of pasta annually, making us the number one pasta consumers. So go us. <laughs> this re recipe is courtesy of a woman named Sarah Welch, who is a contributor to the website Dinner at the Zoo. She's a mom, so I trust her recipes. <laughs> so to begin, I will show you the materials you will need to create this dish. Then, uh, we will go over the ingredients and the recipe. Finally, we will speak garnishes. So let's get started. First, you will need a pan. If you plan, you need a pan to put, um, make the sauce. If you plan on adding the pasta to the sauce directly rather than the sauce to the pasta, you're going to want one that's re relatively deep. Next, you will want a pot because you can't make pasta without boiling it. You will also need measuring cups and measuring spoons, a spatula, or anything to mix with, as long as it isn't metal, especially if you're using a nonstick pan, because as you can see here from my sister, it will scratch it. You will also need a blender if you plan on using whole tomatoes. You will begin by adding 16 ounces of pasta, it's about one pound after it's cooked, to a pot of water. So add your water. You will add your water, and then once it's boiling, you're going to add one and a half tablespoons of salt. And once you do, the pasta will start to calm down and it won't be boiling anymore. Don't worry, this is normal. Once it's back to a rolling boil, you're going to take your pasta, and add it to the pot. While that's cooking, we can get started on our sauce. So first, you're going to add two tablespoons of butter. And once it's melted, you're going to add two tablespoons of minced garlic. You can buy the garlic already minced or mince it yourself, like I do. And a quick disclaimer, I'm not a chef, so if I can mix garlic, so can you. <laughs> After that, you're going to add half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon, pardon me, half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. <clears throat> now this is going to cook relatively quick. Don't panic, because I did. But it's normal. You're going to mix it around the pot and for about 30 seconds. While that's going, you're going to take your tomatoes, preferably San Marzano, just because they have a more sweet sort of taste without being too overwhelming. And you're going to add it to the water. The San Marzano tomatoes are already pretty soft, so don't worry about making too much sound because you can put it to the lowest setting. <laughs> You don't have to worry about your garlic or red pepper flakes burning. You'll add that to the pot. And mix it around, make sure everything is well incorporated. 
After that, you're going to add a quarter cup of vodka. You should never bring alcohol to school, so <laughs> I brought water. And don't worry about a bitter taste in the sauce because you're going to let it simmer for about 20 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes, and by then, any bitter flavor should be gone. You're going to mix it. Throughout the entire thing, you want to make sure that everything is well incorporated. Otherwise, you're going to have some bites that just taste like tomato and some bites that just give you a good time. <laughs> After letting it simmer on medium heat, you are going to go ahead and add one cup of heavy cream. The alcohol also works to bind the heavy cream and the tomatoes together. Otherwise, while you're mixing, they're going to try to separate and it's going to be kind of gross. You're also going to add, along with the heavy cream, three fourths of a cup of Parmesan. Normally, I would advocate for using, first grating your own Parmesan because pre-shredded actually has cornstarch on it so that it doesn't stick in the bag. And so when you try to use that in dishes, it makes it so that it doesn't melt very well. But I was in a rush. Once all of that is, is mixed together, you're going to let it simmer for an additional 10 minutes. After that, you're going to taste your sauce. Many recipes say to add salt and pepper to taste, and that means actually tasting your sauce, which a lot of people don't do. So you're going to taste it and add however much you feel is appropriate. Once that's done, you have your sauce. By now, the pasta should be drained and boiled, so you're going to go ahead and add it to the pot. And you're going to want to fold it all together so that all of the pasta has sauce on it. Another reason why penne is used is because since it's hollow, it, it, it will grab onto the sauce a lot better, and it also has bridges on the side. So overall, it's just better. Now let's talk garnishes. A staple garnish used for pastas is parsley, as many of you know. The reason why parsley is used is because it provides a fresh flavor and it it's also it has a lot of nutrients. Sorry. You can also use Parmesan, because everybody loves cheese, or red pepper flake to accentuate the previous pepper flake that was added. And that's the recipe. And take it from me, take it from somebody that only knows how to make scrambled eggs, this is a really easy recipe and it's very delicious. So now that your pasta is done, you're ready to go and surprise your family, your friends, and maybe even yourself. So now that you know how to make this, who's ready to get wasted? Yeah. <laughs>